Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will talk about the concept of P-type semiconductor, N-type semiconductor, and then we'll also discuss the concept of P-N junction. So let's start uh, with the silicon uh, semiconductor. So if we have silicon, then uh, it will have uh, four uh, electrons in the outer orbital, and that will all have bonds with the surrounding silicon. So there will be no free electron in this case. So everything uh, is occupied. So if we apply the voltage, there will be no uh, flow of electricity through the silicon. So now, uh, if we dope silica uh, with uh, something which has an extra electron on it, for example, uh, here we need four electrons for bonds on the all the four sides. So if we use something which has five electron in the outer orbital, then we will have one extra electron. So this is uh, what we call doping. So in this case, we have uh, all the four sides occupied. And then there is a free electron uh, where you dope the material. And this is called N-type semiconductor. So in this case, if we apply the voltages, then this electron will be able to travel because it is free and the conductance will be there. Same way, we can also develop a hole uh, in the uh, same semiconductor. So instead of doping it with something which has five electron in the outer orbital, we'll dope it with something which has three electron in the outer orbital. So in that case, it will form bond on all the three sides, but not on the fourth side. So this will be deprived of the electron and it will always like to have one electron in it and uh, this one is called p-type semiconductor so in this case also if we apply the voltages on the side then uh, the electron can jump from one hole to another hole to pass from one side to another side so it will be able to conduct the electricity so this was the concept of n-type and p-type semiconductor now if we combine these two materials uh, then that is called pn junction so how that pn junction will look like so we have n type and then we have p type material so p type material has a lot of holes in it and n type has a lot of electrons in it right so what will happen is that at junction uh, this electron will jump into the holes and uh, will become neutral so this area near the junction will become uh, more of uh, satisfied so electron will jump into the holes and because this a this part uh, of n type so this is n and this is p so the n type will lose electron so it will become positively charged and uh, p type will gain electron so it will become negatively charged and because of this positive and negative charge there will be a voltage gradient here and that voltage gradient will have a uh, positive here and negative on this side so this is a voltage gradient we call it delta v so now in this case what will happen is that if you apply so there are two ways to apply voltage to this junction one is to apply positive and negative so if you apply positive on n side and negative on p side then uh, you can see that the voltage gradient is also in agreement with the external voltage so electricity electricity will pass from n to p type junctions so what will be happening is first the electron will travel through the free electron field and then uh, it will go to holes and it will jump from one pole to another and then it be able to pass through however uh, if you apply opposite voltage if you apply voltage uh, positive voltage on the p side and negative on the n side then in that case the voltage gradient in the center will oppose that voltage and uh, you will not be able to have any flow of uh, current through that in that case so there will be no flow so this this why you have a pn junction more of a, we call it diode because uh, it can only flow current in one side but not on the other side so suppose if we have a uh, alternating current uh, which is uh, which has uh, both direction 
so this is your uh, uh, i and this is the time so if we pass it through a uh, pn junction then this uh, will give us this so we will lose any current in the opposite direction so we'll only gain current in one direction so that's how you can convert uh, alternating current to direct current using a pn junction so we'll talk about uh, this concept more in further tutorials so i hope uh, you learned something today and i'll see you in next tutorial thank you